Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we're gonna install some floor mats. Um, specifically, I bought some WeatherTech floor mats. Um, now, I'm pretty happy with WeatherTech. Um, it's, it's something I've been using in my previous vehicle. So, um, I know the most popular ones for a Tesla are um, 3D floor mats and Tasmanian um, floor mats. Specifically for what the Model, model Y, Model 3, and, and X, and uh, Model X and S. So, um, but again, you know, I'm I'm really happy with the uh, the WeatherTech. So, um, actually haven't haven't opened up the box yet. So, um, wanted to be able to do this video as an unboxing and um, simply an installation of these of these uh, floor mats. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Now, I ordered these floor mats directly from uh, WeatherTech. So, went on to the website and um, placed my order there. And actually placed the order probably a week uh, before I took delivery of the vehicle. So, um, and they came literally a day before um, the delivery. So, it was, uh, it was really helpful to be able to do that. You know, so. Go ahead and take this out here. So, I mean, as you can see, it's it's a pretty durable product. Um, what's nice about this, and we'll be able to see it a little bit better um, as we you know, put them in the car. But you know, this wraps all the way around. It's it's definitely molded um, up against the interior of the floor well. So. Um, it's actually a really good liner. So, yeah, so these are the front two mats and then the, uh, the mat for the back seat. So I actually didn't order the one for the, the trunk um, or the front. Um, wanted to see how, how these turned out before I ordered those. So. Um, with that, let's go ahead and uh, get them installed. So obviously, you know, replacing floor mats is, is pretty simple, but you know, I wanted to go ahead and, and show you guys that anyways. Now as you can see, these are the floor mats that came stock um, with, the, with the car. Now, you know, they do have Velcro to hold it in place here in the corners, but you know, just to compare them right next to each other, you know, that's a standard floor mat that you get um, with the vehicle. But, you know, look at the difference here uh, with the uh, WeatherTech floor mat versus the ones you get stock. So, but let's simply, you know, slide this in here. Now, it's pretty pretty nicely in, in the vehicle here. And, um, and that was obviously pretty simple just to drop into place, but you know, it fits in real nice. It uh, molded up against the edges here and it just seals in the, car the uh, carpeted area um, really nicely. And the best thing about, you know, these type of floor mats is that you can just simply take them out rinse them off, wash them. Um, obviously, if you get anything on them, um, definitely helpful with uh, kids and, and everything like that, that. Okay, go ahead and take out the passenger side. Now, again, you know, one thing to point out is again, these, you know, standard floor mats do have um, Velcro on the back side of them, so they don't move around. And again, quick comparison between the two different mats. You know, obviously this one from WeatherTech and the one that you get standard from Tesla. Now Tesla, now WeatherTech also adds um, Velcro to the backside of the floor mat. That way it doesn't slide around. So definitely 
Yeah, see, even with it molded in the Velcro, it definitely, definitely sits in there fairly nicely. So also looks good too with the black on black. A um, little bit of a, a rugged look, but to help protect the, the carpet and easy cleanup, you know, these types of mats are, are definitely helpful. Okay, lastly, we have the back seat. So then just quickly remove this. Set it over here. And just again, a quick comparison between the mat that you get and the, uh, the WeatherTech mat. So also the back seat um, floor mat also has, you know, a molded lip that sits up against the uh, interior of the, the vehicle. So let's get this installed. Simply just uh, drops into place. Now just we push it all down. And that's it. That is it. So, back seat looks pretty good. So, yeah, pretty happy with this. Might have to order the other mats. Um, you know, including the for for the for the trunk in the front. Definitely want to consider um, getting the, the mat here for the trunk. Um, <laughs> actually earlier today, I picked up some groceries and, um, something leaked on the, on the floor here. So that's probably a, an indicator of something that I actually need to do. But the one thing I wanted to make sure before ordering, um, the WeatherTech one to match is since this, you know, cargo area hinges, you know, right in here. I want to make sure the WeatherTech mat has that. I'm not really sure right now if it does. All right, overall guys, so far I'm extremely um, happy with these WeatherTech mats. Um, they cost me about $200 for the, uh, the front seat mats and then the one in the back seat. So, and again, that's directly from, from uh, the WeatherTech website. That was about $235. Um, with shipping and all that. So a little bit more expensive than the 3D mats, uh, Tasmanian mats. Um, and I believe it's probably comparable to the, to the ones that you get directly from Tesla. So, um, but again, I, I went with these mats purely because I've been extremely happy with them in previous vehicles. So um, that's why I decided to go with them again. Um, so with that, I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Um, and, uh, please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. See ya.